Welcome everyone to Jordan Sway Just Commentary. So we're going to check out a video which I believe is the King's Project. The King's Project. And I am waiting and I am loving the idea of this video reaction. You guys made a request for me to react to it and I'm so thankful. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Jordan Sway Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Definitely leave a comment below and I will try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay. Royal. Shatalada project. Kim Pum Him. I pronounced it wrong. I pronounced his name wrong. Pum Him Pool. Pum Him Pool. Yeah. Right. The B and the H. I said boom. Was Pum. Okay. Let's let's enjoy this awesome video from Thailand. For the benefit and happiness of the Thai people of the entire kingdom. His Majesty has wow. even allocated areas within the compound of his private residence for research and experimentation in pursuit of solutions to problems facing his subjects. Wow. Amazing. I'm loving it, uh, especially for the agriculture project. The suffering of his people, especially farmers in the rural areas yes. of the majority of the country's population. His Majesty the King has simulated within the compounds of his private residence the conditions of various specific problems so that he may himself find the solution. So now that the king has passed away, this project they're continuing, I hope. This led to the advent in around 1961 of the Royal Chitmada Agricultural Projects, which Chitmada as the first of the development projects initiated by His wow. Majesty the King and the origin of all other such projects subsequently undertaken. Amazing. I also like how they did <coughs> that small video with the agricultural land and plants at the back. To serve as study, experimentation and research projects aimed at solving various problems concerned with agriculture. Yeah, wow. Once they yield results, the projects are used for demonstration. When I did high culture in high school, I got a grade A. I got a grade A in high culture. Love it. Make use of the knowledge thus gained for their own purposes. Another important point is that the projects are not profit oriented. Wow. The Royal Chitra Survival. Sustainability. Non commercial projects and semi commercial projects. Non-commercial projects implement His Majesty the King's initiatives in the field of development of agricultural productivity, importance being wow. given to the long-term betterment of the farmer's quality of life so that they could become self-sufficient and, at the same time, to the conservation of natural resources. Wow. This type of project receives advice and support from the government agencies concerned as well as the private sector. Semi-commercial projects mm. involve studies and experimentation on the processing of agricultural products. The products are sold, but not for making maximum profit wow. or business competition. <sighs> the profit they gain is used for the latter's further development. Ah, amazing. Wow. Project. So there are some products. Do they have a special marking on them that will let people know? Even like when foreigners visit Thailand, that these products are specifically we call the King's Project. With the aim of maintaining <coughs> an ancient royal tradition, as well as advancing the morale of the farmers and giving them encouragement, His Majesty the King graciously revived in 1960 the Royal Plowing Ceremony, an ancient royal tradition which continues to be performed to this day. Good. On His Majesty's request, the Rice Department planted on an experimental basis within the compound of Jitlada Palace various rice varieties from all parts of Thailand for the wow. conduct of studies on rice cultivation methods, including crop rotation for soil improvement yep. and the optimum utilization of the fields. The results obtained were then disseminated to the farmers. Wow, I remember that video. In 1961, His Majesty the King himself drove Iron Buffalo, a four-wheel tractor, to plow the rice field. 
He also later on sowed the seeds and reaped the path. Wow. One part of the seeds obtained from the experimental rice field of the Royal Titlada project each year is used in the royal plowing ceremony of the following year. Hey! That's amazing. The demonstration forest project began when His Majesty the King, on his way to Glaikanwon Palace in Pratua Kiritan province for a short stay, saw along the highway in Taiyang district of Petuburi province a large number of young na trees, or dipterocarp trees, being exploited. Wow. So he initiated the preservation of this valuable species by planting its seeds at Glaikanwon Palace. Then, planted the dipterocarp seedlings in the compound of Jitlada Palace. Wow! Subsequently, on His Majesty's orders, a number of tree species were brought from all over the country and cultivated together within the compound of Jitlada Palace to create a demonstration forest for the study of tree species. Wow, well, I love that. For the health of the population with low income, his Majesty the King has undertaken the study of fish culture with the aim of providing a source of easily produced good quality fish. Protein. Wow. In 1968, the Japanese Emperor Akihito, then the Crown Prince, presented His Majesty with fingerlings of Tilapia nilotica. Hey! <laughs> wow! He named that fish species Nim, which is Nim. derived from the word nilotica, Nim. a scientific name. And his majesty wow. gave the fish to the farmers for further propagation and consumption. Wow. That's amazing. Dairy Fab. His Majesty the King's keeping occupation. The Jitlada Dairy Farm can be considered the starting point of the semi-commercial type of Royal Jitlada projects. Wow. This is an amazing video. Upon receiving a gift of a few heads of cows and bulls in 1962, His Majesty the King donated an amount of his personal funds towards the construction of the Jitlada Dairy Farm wow. for the purpose of conducting research on and disseminating dairy farming techniques. What a hard-working king! Of grass growing for 70 years of an awesome hard-working king. Farming. Everything is just amazing of it, about this king. He's amazing. His Majesty the King decided that a study be undertaken on the possibility of turning raw milk into milk powder for long-term storage. So that's how we got powdered milk? Milk powder factory, all designed and constructed by ties, was established and was conferred the name Suwendusit Milk Powder Plant by His Majesty. Wow. Oh my. Furthermore, His Majesty has given assistance to Normally governments will, will, would implement or put the funds for other persons to do this research. But the King of Thailand actually used his own personal property for this to testing to be done and then he created job opportunity production and, and it's still continuing. Wow. Really, I never heard of this one. So collected and utilized as material for the production of milk tablets for pets. Milk tablets. I've never seen this one. Obtained from the milk evaporation process went to producing distilled water for use with car batteries. What? Starting point for studies on the operation of the present day distilled drinking water plant. So it can be considered that maximum. <laughs> wow! This is just too much. Nothing is wasted. On the King's 60th birthday anniversary in 1987, cheese production equipment from the Netherlands was presented to him. <laughs> cheese plants? Oh, wait! Her Royal Highness Princess Maha Chakri Sirintorn subsequently conferred the name of Maha Mongkhon cheese on the product obtained. The cheese plant places emphasis. So all of these are still existing: the cheese plant, the milk plant, the water distillation plant. Such as cheese wow. and ice cream, and that of the milk remaining from the skimming process to manufacture pasteurized skim milk, ready to drink low-fat drinking yogurt and yogurt. 
<laughs> I'm telling you nothing is wasted. This is a, this is such an awesome video. Nothing is wasted. By the end of 2002, the milk surplus recurred, leading the Royal Jitlada project to set up a UHT milk plant to help dairy farmers, as well as to demonstrate the process of manufacturing from fresh milk, UHT milk, that can be stored for a long time without refrigeration. It also oh sells the God. products to the public, including schools participating in the government school milk project. The products are packaged in both cartons and plastic bags. Wow. This is almost too amazing. Farmers backbone. Yep. Farmers are the backbone. While visiting the people in various parts of the country, His Majesty the King had witnessed the problem of the farmers' poverty. He consequently gave the advice that farmers should form themselves into groups cooperative in of a cooperative with their own barns and yes hey cooperatives the that's the way to go forward boy carrying out rice storage and milling studies and demonstrations since 1970 nice Moreover, His Majesty Solar. King is far-sighted and fully aware of the energy problem facing the country. Mm. Earlier on, a windmill had been presented to him for the study of wind energy, a renewable type of energy for use as a substitute for electricity in water pumping. Wow. Later on, out of concern over the possibility of oil shortage, or falling price of sugar cane in the future. Wow. His Majesty gave in four sides. Four sides. Instruction that a study be undertaken on the cost of producing alcohol from sugar cane for use as an alternative source of energy. Fuel production experimentation is another project. Of this video is too short. It's already over. From His Majesty the King's private funds. Wow. This video is too short. I needed to watch more of this video. This was an awesome video. Thank you so very much, guys, for requesting this video. How oh, I can, other than the fact that the king was such a loving, loving man, his knowledge, his foresight, everything he did was just so amazing. And this is what leaders should do: have a foresight, something you've seen in the future, anticipating things that might happen. And the king of Thailand, he did all that for his people. Thinking of the future, the new generations to come, even after he's gone. That is why it's so amazing that, that the, the king has been respected and represented by his people. This is just an awesome video because thank you very much for your question. Subscribe to Juno's with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Definitely leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye guys.